I'm coming, all right. Okay. Hang on, for Christ's sake. What? Yes. Yes. I've done it. I have it here. I don't know. It doesn't say anything yet. I don't know how long. Five minutes? The pack just says a few. Oh, I don't know. Three? <laughs> this is ridiculous. It can't be happening. No, literally. Biologically. No, literally. I literally haven't had sex in Michael. I know. I know. There's definitely something in there. I can feel it moving around. So how do you explain the massive fucking bodge that I'm hiding under my sister's jumper? Because my sister is fatter than me and my jumpers won't suit. Yes, I'm sure it's not just gas. Three and a half. See something? Something is happening. It's line. It's a blue line. What the fuck does a blue line mean? I'm pregnant. my friend Rebecca on the phone. She's three years younger than me and has never had a boyfriend for more than seven months. The idea of having children simply abhors her. It's the simple thought of a small, bold, wrinkly human being growing out of her delicate It's enough to make her void sex forever. She has nightmares about it. Fills of hundreds of tiny babies with the faces of her mother and father, all shitting and pissing their pants while she is running around to try and change their nappies. That the shitting is so constant that she cannot keep up. And there's a constant stench and screeching hold from the wrinkled, small, earthly human beings. At this point, she wakes up in tears, covered in damp sweat, and calls me. She's on the pill. I use uses condoms. She's protected. I mean, have a bloody hysterectomy if you want, and then you know you're safe. They don't just appear out of nowhere in your room, pretending to be Fed. Well, at least that was my understanding. But this isn't about Rebecca, this is about me. I don't have Rebecca's inherent fear of babies. I do like babies. In fact, I'd go as far as to say that I would have liked to have babies at some point. Or I 
thought I would at some point when I was happily married in my own house with a king of apron in Yaga and a dog. I don't have any of those. But as you can see, I'm pregnant happily, which is odd to say the least, because I actually haven't had sex since I broke up with my ex, Michael. He was convinced that we were both changing and that we were, weren't allowing each other to move on, that everything else around us was changing. Apparently, we were the people we knew, which was not the people we were anymore. Which is bollocks. <laughs> he was changing and the new him wanted to be single. Frick! Okay, so I want you to call a lady of the night. A mistress, a madam, a dominatrix. Let me make this clear. I am not a whore. I do not actually sleep with these people. In fact, most of the stuff I do is pretty unsexual. For instance, there's this one chap who comes over. I blindfold him. I tie him up. I go shopping for a couple of hours, come back and tie him. <laughs> and he pays me 200 quid. Don't get me wrong, they're not all quite as vanilla. Uh, for instance, there's this merchant banker from Hertfordshire who comes around once a month and pays me 500 quid to come in my hair. But on the whole, it's fairly genial. I'm away though, this does change the context a little bit. But what I said earlier about not Having had that six, Michael, that is absolutely true. Excuse me, miss. Just pop your clothes off and wash yourself in the sink if you need to. It's just business, really. I mean, I know a pregnant lady doesn't conjure up great images, but really, it's. I have a very normal, normal little life. Uh, uh, miss. Keep it in your trousers for one more second. You're not being charged. There are magazines in the drawer if you want them. I think this means I'm mistake. I'm here with the baby. If you go through there, you can change. There are nappies and nonsense in the cupboard. Pink or blue. Your baby? Excuse me? Your baby? Sorry. What are you trying to? That is your name, correct? Yes. <laughs> and the details are correct, date of birth and so forth. Yes, how did you? Uh, well then, so it's definitely one of ours. Sorry, ours? What? What are you talking about? Who is ours? Who are you? Oh, goodness, sorry, I should introduce myself. Uh, we have a policy for this, usually, as obviously it's a rather stressful situation, but look, well, I've been travelling all day. And then I get here and you ask me to take my clothes off. Who are you? Oh, I'm Gabriel. I'm an angel. Well, the angel. And the baby. It's one of ours. Uh... Perhaps you should sit down. I know it can be quite a shock. What? So you're telling me this baby is? Uh, one of the divine, a lamb of God, a child of creation. I? So why did I? I'm assuming you've heard of the second coming. It has been prophesied for quite a while now. Hang on. The second coming? What? So Jesus is being reincarnated in my... No, 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 no. Oh, God, we don't do reincarnation. 
So how do you describe this then? The second coming. All right. Just with different words then. Forgive me for being difficult, but why should I believe you? Have you got any proof? <laughs> you don't do proof. <laughs> Negates the whole face thing. Convenient. Not even a little miracle. Water into wine sort of thing. I could do with a drink. I don't think that would be wise, not with the baby. Well, have you got any identification I can see? Uh, License, maybe? <laughs> what about wings? Where are your wings? I don't have them with me. Right. Look, do you have any better explanation? Oh, no. <sighs> not yet, but... Come on, you must have had some idea. I mean, the conception was immaculate, was it not? Well, it was, I suppose. I mean, you don't know that I'm not a virgin. Yes, well, I was rather getting that idea. Oh, well, who is these days? The important thing is that it's definitely one of ours. I mean, have you had any? Uh... Any? Sex? Sex, yes. In the last nine months. Not the sort of sex that would get me pregnant. No. I see. Well, good then. It must be one of ours. Oh, well. I suppose reformed is the new sinless these days. Or like a refurbished house. It doesn't matter that we didn't like the colour scheme of the previous occupant. We've Clean you up, put neutral colours throughout, and your market price has risen again. <laughs> okay. So this is your baby? Uh, well, no, no, it's not my baby. Uh, it, was, it was God's baby. Right. So will God be paying child support? Excuse me? I mean, well, you basically saying is that God picked me as a surrogate mother without my permission, I might add, well, to carry his child. So what sort of contact will God be having with his child? I mean, his present isn't exactly a physical one, is it? He's not the sort of father who can take his child to the playground or put together his cot. Is he? Do you know a carpenter? I'm not going to get up at four in the morning to change the nappies. Is he? God will offer his constant love and support. Right. But that's not going to buy the little fella new pram, is it? Or clean out the suit, off the suit of my boots. Unless you're coming to live with me. Oh, no. No. So he's basically just turn me into a <clears throat> single mouse then. Well. Marvellous. Fucking marvellous. Thank you, God. Well, he does move in mysterious ways. Are you give me that shit? No, just calm down. Calm down. You're coming here, no warning, no wings, telling me that I've been impregnated by the Almighty without so much as a. Hello, would you mind if I just. And then, not even having the courtesy to tell me himself, just sending down some left off to do his dirty work. Now, look here, lady. I've had a long journey. I'm tired, I'm stressed. I came down here to try and help you. Shed some light on your situation, all you're giving me is grief. Oh, for Goodness, they don't shoot the messenger, Jesus Christ! Sorry. No, I'm sorry. I'm hormonal. I shouldn't have snapped at you. You're not a lap dog. Look, I understand it must be a bit of a shock. It's just, I'm just, you know. No. Look, I'm sure it's not your fault. No, no, it's not. But I'm always the one who has to deliver the news, good old Gabriel. It doesn't mean that I necessarily agree with it. 
And not that I'm saying I don't. Really, please sit down. Would you like a cup of tea? Oh, a cup of tea would be blinding. So, uh, Gabriel, uh, how how long you've been an angel? A few thousand years. Yeah, right. Oh, do you enjoy it? Yes, uh, most of the time. Oh, you know, long hours, lots of travelling, but... Uh, right. Uh, and do you have a... Um, uh... Wings? No, afraid not. <laughs> no, I was going to say harp. That's a cherub. Right. Can you remind me of the difference again? Cherubs are babies. Ah, right. Yeah, babies, of course. <laughs> so, um, uh, so, uh, how am I doing? Excuse me? You know, with him upstairs. Am I like on his list of good little girls and boys or, you know, bad one? I think you're confusing him with Father Christmas. Right, <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, I didn't mean like, well, not the list, obviously. Uh, I just meant, you know, am I doing okay? Uh, I'm afraid I'm not at liberty to divulge that sort of information. Right, but like, well, you give me the heads up though, you know, if I was heading in the wrong direction sort of thing. I'm afraid it's not my place. I'd be interfering with your free will. Right, of course. Of course, I wouldn't want that, no, no. But, you know, you'd let me know if there was, like, something I'd done that was really bad, or, like, you'd let me know, yeah? I think I'll just go and see that she's all right with the tea. Right. This is so typical of her, you know. She always has to be different. She can't do things the normal way. No, no. Do you know what? She buys a lasagna. She can't just buy a jar of white ragu. Oh, no, no, no. She has to make the white sauce herself. You know, she decorated the bedroom. And she can't just use four pots of old magnolia that her dad left her from their lounge. No, no. She wants quince, which is like two shades lighter and four times more expensive. She has to have a baby, yeah? She can't just have a normal baby. No, no, no. It's got to be God's baby. God, I should have known she'd pull something like this. If I didn't know her any better, I'd say she was trying to get me back. Mother of God. Christ Almighty. I mean, I bet she's absolutely loving that. She's always been all like holier than thou, and, and now she really is. Gotta say though, strikes me as a bit of an odd choice. Yeah, don't get me wrong. I'm sure she'd be very good, but you know, if he wants like a little woman who's gonna just sit indoors and keep her mouth shut, then is it for a bit of a shock? <laughs> it's quite a scary thought, really. I mean, who's the one person who's got more power than God? His mother. <laughs> God help him. Self? Well, I suppose, to look on the bright side, really, at least it's not mine. I mean, it's a good thing. I mean, I don't want a kid. I'm not ready to settle down, and, and I, I certainly wouldn't want her kid. Me and her are over. It's finished, you know? What we had was... It's gone. I mean, it's not like I'm carrying around any sort of torch for her or anything ridiculous like that you know it's finished yeah thanks but no thanks i'm done i mean yeah i cared about her of course but i mean okay she's the only woman that i've ever truly been in love with but that's only so far you know you know i broke up with her and i'm glad it was absolutely the right decision. We were, we were both changing, but we were forcing each other to stay as we... Well, you know what? It was the right thing to do. You know, and the saying goes, the grass is always greener on the other side of the fence. You know, and it really is. My grass at the moment is like really, really green. It's like, it's like a lizard. 
It's like, it's so green. It's like practically brown. Uh, who the fuck are you? I'm Lucifer. I'm here for my baby. Of course. Of course. Of course you are. Well, come in. Join the queue. And this must be the mother-to-be. Enchanté. May I say you look fantastic. If I'm honest with you, I think the term glowing is tossed around far too loosely when talking about pregnant women. But you really do seem to be emitting some kind of wonderful aura. You're radiant. You look fabulous. All right, all right, enough. Bravo. You're too late. Oh, God, what are you doing here? Uh, this one's one of ours. Huh, no, sorry, no way, G. Oh, sorry. This baby's mine. Don't push me, Gabriel. Lucifer. Don't you. No, it's not. No. You. No, no, you can shove it up your big fat fucking angel anus. This is my fucking baby. You, you have to use that file language for a lady's present. What? Oh, excuse me, Gabriel. Does my fucking language fucking upset you? You motherfucking cock-sucking pig fucker. No, Lucifer. Your vile language does not upset me. It embarrasses me. The fact that the alleged ruler of all evil isn't sufficiently eloquent to string together a suitable sentence without having to resort to the repeated use of expedients makes me embarrassed for you. Hello, lady with a baby. Forgive me for asking, but who are you? Beautiful. You don't even know the father's name. He's not the father. Yes, I am. You're not. I think you'll find I am. I think you'll find. Uh, I think you'll find I am. I think you'll find. Sorry, sorry, that's me. I'll just, I'll just, you know. You, speak. Thank you. I am Lucifer, I'm Lucifer the, the prince, prince of, of darkness. Around six, around six months, months ago, ago, there was a momentous, there was a momentous night. night. A night, a night that would change the fate of all mankind. Of all mankind. A, a night, night when the heavens kissed, kissed and the sun blinked, and, and, and the fallen angel walked walk the earth walk once more. Once... <sighs> Gabriel, come on, be fair. It's my turn. She said I could talk. On this night. I would be allowed to take the body of another mortal for one solitary hour. In that hour, I would find my bride and sow my seed and sow my spawn would... Well, anyway, all right, bye, bye. Sorry, it's work, it's, it's been a thing. Look, I took a body, had sex with you, and now you've got my baby. Nice, romantic. Michael, what are you even doing here? Well, I'm... Um, well, fine! Actually, Lucifer, I think you'll find, if you ask her, that she hasn't had sex with anyone since him. And that was over nine months ago. Well over. Man's got a point. Actually, Gabrielle, I think you'll find she has had sex. I should know. I was there. Actually, Lucifer, I think you're fine. Actually, Gabriel, you're a dick. You go. Lucifer, go on. Right. Well, as I was saying, I took a body, I had sex with you, hence the baby. Look, Lucifer, I haven't had sex for nearly a year. Oh no? The words good man don't ring any bells? No. <sighs> Excuse me. Good man? No, nothing. Goodman? Oh my god. Harry Goodman. So, what do I do now? How does the modern woman cope with immaculate conception? What happened to pro-choice? You can't just invade a woman's body like some sort of illegal occupation of foreign state and then implant your own government without the consent of its citizens.
You can't just break into a woman's most sacred sanctuary and fill her with like <laughs> with a piece of your life. I mean, st stick it in the fridge, keep it cool, pop it in the oven, just ready to take out and serve to the world. I'm not a big yellow storage company. I don't rent out space. I don't do babysitting, baby growing, like a greenhouse. An empty vessel somewhere to keep it warm and safe, to carry it and look after it, a means to an end, so that if the end justify the means. I'm not talking about the bigger picture, the longer run, the greater good. This is my place, my space for me to use as I see a fit. You can't just invade it without my permission. That completely negates my basic human right. That's rape. I mean, it's not my baby. I didn't ask for it. I don't want it. It just appeared. I can't look after a baby. I can't even look after myself. You can give me all the mirror in the world. I mean, it won't make any difference. I'm not a mother. I'm a daughter. Anyway, how much of this baby is even mine? I mean, a baby is a mixture, a combination, a chemical reaction. Two pieces merging together to create something new, but how can it work? I mean, it would take half of my looks, half of my traits. It might be scared of photocopies, like me. The Almighty can't be scared of photocopiers. I mean, or suffer from bad skin, or be allergic to peanuts, or be terrible at maths, or home economics. I mean, these aren't traits of the Almighty. Sign of perfection, they're imperfection, they're human. What if it isn't the son of God, but the spawn of devil? Like my own little Damien. Well, fuck that. I mean, why would I want one of them? Why would I want to bring up the leader of all things evil? What do I get out of that? Will he look after his mom in her old age? No, he bollocks. He's evil. All I get is an eternity of fire brimstone for harboring a known criminal for nine months. I mean... Upside down crosses everywhere. Crows, dogs, serpents, rope priests turning up at my house in sweat drenched robes. I can't be doing with all that. I'll be targeted by extremists and worshipped by weirdos, canonized, vilified, and terrorized, a martyrous saint. I'll be reopening old wounds. I mean, re emphasizing. The gulf that lies between belief, refreshing the reasons for war and genocide. I'll be giving people justification for the unjustifiable, and I didn't even have a choice. But then you never do. Do you? Gary Goodman? Fuck! I not have sex with Gary Goodman. Gary Goodman! Oh my god! But it wasn't Gary Goodman, it was you, right? Um, no, actually I didn't turn up until uh, pretty directly before the magic happened. Gary Goodman! Who's Gary Goodman? He pissed himself at Adrian Morgan's birthday party because he drank too much coke. Oh, who's Adrian Morgan? Hang on. Laid, and you could pick anybody that you wanted to, and you pick Gary Goodman's. What is wrong with Gary Goodman? Hello, it worked, didn't it? Drug me or something, or magic, or your devil's powers to seduce me. <laughs> Look, I wouldn't necessarily have picked you, but you didn't leave me with a lot of choice. God, no, please tell me. That you're lying. It... I don't know how much champagne you drank, but uh, it was all I could do to get you back to your flat. God. No, no, that wasn't even champagne. It was kava. Oh, God. I did suppose you could change your use of curse words. Oh, fuck off. Thank you. Gary Goodman, you had slept with Gary Goodman? Well, uh, technically she slept with me. Oh, no, 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 no. What was I doing? Unbelievable. <laughs> I want to die. 
What is so wrong with Gary Goodman? No, 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 don't open it. It's probably a wrong number. Hi, look, there's something I have to say. I probably should have told you earlier, but I didn't know if it was going anywhere. But now I think it is, or I thought it was. But now you're pregnant, so I shouldn't tell you because stress is bad for the baby. Not that you're keeping it, right? God, you're huge. Look, Michael and I are together. We're a couple. I'm sorry, I didn't tell you. I didn't plan it. I was out and saw Michael and said hello, and we got talking, and it came out that he quite always fancied me, but couldn't do anything about it because obviously we were best mates. And I said I quite fancied him too, which was why I sometimes was a bit of a bitch toward him because subconsciously I quite fancied him. We weren't going to do anything, but because you had just broken up and I knew how pissed off you'd be. Then we said, well, maybe we should just have a kiss, get it out of our system while we're single. And we had a kiss. And then the kiss cried on and we ended up having sex. I'm not proud of that, but it was good. But it was bad because the condom broke and I had to take the morning pill and it was Horrific. I was terrified because I thought I was pregnant. And you know how much I fucking hate those babies because of the faces with babies that have my mom's and dad's faces and shit and piss and cry the whole time. And the day after, we had to go to Blue Water and I said I was sick and I couldn't come. And you were pissing me and I wanted to tell you, but I was guilty and I started crying. So I called Michael. He was really good about that. He made me feel better. So I I think he came over and we weren't gonna do anything, but we cuddled. And then I went from there. And now you tell me that you're pregnant and you say that you haven't had sex since Michael, which means He's a father, but you don't want to tell me because I made such a fuss about what a fucker he is when he dumped you, which means you're lying to me. And he's lying to me, and you're fucking him. And he's fucking you, and I'm fucking him. And I'm going to lose my best friend and my boyfriend. Technically, he is. And I'll be hopeless and helpless and friendless and loveless and die old and alone with red veins and bladder and weakness and a full of cats. You two. <laughs> you two. I don't believe it. You two. You absolute fucker. How could you? I need space. I'm changing. I want to be on my own. I did. So my best friend, you always said that you, she thought that she was a whiny cow. Excuse me? Well, you said that she was more irritating than eczema and now you're fucking her? What a shit crawling, sewer dredging, fuss sucking, piss drinking, dog fucking lying, cheating, dickless little scumbag. My best friend. How could you? What are you? How do you? And you? I know. I'm sorry. I hate myself. All that time, you lying, disgusting, two-faced bitch, little whore bag. All this time. I know. I'm sorry. I didn't mean it, but I couldn't help it. I, I love him. Whoa. Love him. Love him. He's a fucking anus. You can talk. You're fucking him. I was not. Look, you don't have to lie to me. I know what's going on. I know you're sleeping with him. 
what if I was? He's my boyfriend. Ex boyfriend. Oh yeah, ex boyfriend. Thank fuck. Because you're a prick. He's a prick. Why would you sleep with him? Why are you sleeping with him? Oh, I'm not. See? But you're pregnant. Oh. Hello? Then who's the father? Gary Goodman. Gary Goodman? What? Oh my God. You had sex with Gary Goodman? <laughs> No, I had sex with him. I'm sorry, I just don't see what is so bad about Gary Goodman. You had sex with Gary Goodman and you didn't tell me? Well, you had sex with my boyfriend and you didn't tell me. Ex-boyfriend. Yes, ex-boyfriend. In fact, my fucking luck is stars because you are the king of all dicks. When? Six months ago. Gary Goodman. <laughs> what? Was he a client? I forget about Gary Goodman. Gary Goodman is not the issue here. The issue here is you two. A uh, client? She's a prostitute. <laughs> <laughs> She's a prostitute that she hasn't had sex in nine months. Ah, oh, I'm not a prostitute. I'm a mistress. It's very different. Mm, yeah. I say potato, you say potato. I think I'll find tomato in that saying. Why do you always have to pick me up on everything? Oh, look, what the fuck does potatoes have to do with it? Don't have a go at him. More irritating than eczema? That was taken out of context. Context? In what context was that? She has a point here, so... Sorry. Who are you? They both think they're the father. I thought Gary Goodman was the father. No, I'm the father. I think you'll find. I think you'll find. He's Lucifer, he's a fallen angel, and Gabriel is an archangel. Archangel, that's right. There. <laughs> Angels? <laughs> of course they are. And she's the Virgin Mary, and Gary Goodman's a humble carpenter, and they all came here by a little fucking donkey. Oh, how very droll, Michael. Well done. Uh, angels. And why are they here again? To fight over the soul of my unborn baby. Look, just Rebecca, don't worry about it. It's not your problem. I mean, your problem is that you're a lying, deceitful, backstabbing little cow who is now going out with a lying, deceitful, backstabbing little dickhead who has a hairy back and makes a stupid whistling noise through his nose when he sleeps. Like there's a tiny effing teapot stuck up there. I have sinus problems. Thank you for drawing attention to it. Look, I know I've not been totally straight with you, but... <gasps> not been totally straight with yeah, you. You have in anything but straight. In fact, I would go so far to say that you've been a circle. Look, people, let's calm down. Sit down. Lucy, put the kettle on. You put the kettle on. Lucifer. Oh, my God. Fine, okay? Unbelievable. He's so bloody high and mighty. Every time I try to do something a bit different, that pompous little twang always turns up to spoil the party. I mean, he can't just stand someone else being in the limelight. This was my time to shine. Time for me to have a star and some wise men and some, well, some shepherds. Hmm. You know, I don't know why I bother. I'm trying to make a difference, but nobody seems to listen. This world is going to heaven, and nobody wants to do a thing about it. I try and I try. Trying to save you people from eternity in that dull as dishwasher place, but everything I do seems to get twisted and taken the wrong way. Hmm. Garden of Eden. You want an apple? Have an apple. It's called fruits. Doctors recommend you have five portions a day. It will, you know, help with your digestion. What? And and now I'm the bad guy. 
Garden of Gethsemane. You don't want to be crucified. Fair dudes, who would? Let me help you out. Oh, and suddenly I'm the scourge of all mankind. Okay, so um, maybe I should stay out of other people's gardens, but I was just trying to help. You know, people have such a warped perception about me that every time I... <laughs> it just, it's upsetting at times, okay? I can get really, really upset. He has all these songs and all these followers about him and... Okay, so I do have songs and followers about me, but have you seen those people? All the black nails and greasy hair is like, Ugh! just creeps me out a bit if I tell you the truth. I mean, I am not a bad person. I just, they have all this bloody PR machine of the kingdom of heaven blowing on full tilt. I mean, what the hell? You know, that bloody book is going to be the death of me. And the thing that gets me is that it's not even any good. I mean, have you read the thing? Bloody hell! It's tedious! Parts of it aren't even legible. And the thing that gets me is that it sells more than Harry Potter. <laughs> go, go, go figure. Does anybody want to listen to my side of the story? For a religion that isn't supposed to judge. They were pretty quick to damn me. I am the victim of a smear campaign. If I wanted to, I could write a book slagging them all off. But you know what? Frankly, I'm better than that. I sat there for centuries while all these lies have been spread about me. I kept a quiet, dignified silence in the firm belief that at some point the truth will out, taking the higher ground as it were, while they continue to play dirty like this. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but it's just, you know, I liked it up there. So no matter what the book said about me, me and the big man, we got on well. There was a time when we were very, very close. But he was always, oh, Jesus, this, Jesus, that. I gave that man the best years of my life. And what fate did I get, huh? Fallen angel, indeed. I didn't fall. I was pushed. Look, uh, did you definitely have sex with this, uh, Gary? Goodman. A Goodman. I can't believe you had sex with Gary Goodman. Well, is it true? Well, I don't know. You don't know? I, I don't think so. You don't think so? Well, I'm not sure. What does it matter? What does it matter? It matters, Missy, because we need to determine whether or not that little fellow in there is the second coming or the spawn of the devil. Well, surely you should know. I mean, I thought you people knew everything. I thought God knew who impregnates. Hi, well, actually, it's a good point. Well, hasn't he told you? I mean, I thought that if he'd sent you here to speak to me, it'd at least have filled you in on the details. Well, you would have thought. Um, I, I'm sort of on a need-to-know basis. Oh, and you don't think this is something that you would need to know? Mm, I suppose so. Okay, so why don't we just ask him? I'll just walk up to God and ask him. Why not? We just can't. So he just impregnated Will, a girl he barely even knows, and then sends you down to sort out the mess? It's... Like some kind of evangelical lop star. A holy Mick Jagger with hundreds of kids at every port. It's not quite like that. It's... You're just kind of the glorified PA, really. <laughs> On. This isn't about me. Look, did you or did you not have sex with Gary Goodman? Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god. Oh, who's this now? Well, I'm Gary Goodman! Oh! Oh my god! Anyway, well, 
look, I got your address off Friends Reunited. Uh, Matthew Parker had it, and he said that uh, Karen Dender had given it to him a couple of months ago because he wanted to invite you to some charity netball do he was organising in Headley upon Thames or something. Uh, did you know one of those? What? Matthew Parker, who just sent me this random invite through the post for this netball thing. Shit, yeah, I remember that. He didn't tell me about this. Did you go? <laughs> no. Uh, right. So Matthew was the first person on the list to have it, and that's why it's taken me so long. You see, a few people had your old address at Sumner Road, but obviously you've moved now. <laughs> and there's this lovely Asian couple living there. You know, they're very nice. L look. Could I have a word, you know, in, in, in private? Okay, well, I, I just didn't want you to think that I was one of those love them and leave them type of guys, you know, like a, a user. Because I'm not, you know. I, I have the highest respect for birds. I mean, I love them. <laughs> I mean, I know I come across as a bit of a high flyer, you know, the type of guy with a girl in every port and all that. But uh, well, truth is, you know, I'm, well, uh, I, I'm, I'm a virgin. Well, I was, you know, until I met you uh, that night. God, it was like, it was like I was taken over by some sort of higher power or something. I, I felt irresistible. Oh, I mean, I, I always used to fancy you at school. You know, and if, if I'm really honest, you know, those Valentine's cards with, with the question marks on them, you know, they, they were for me. <coughs> yes, I, I was in love with you. But, uh, you know, uh, that night when I saw you and, and, then, and then we, you know, <laughs> oh, I, I felt something inside of me and, and I know that you did too. <laughs> Well, look, okay, what I'm trying to say is that I think I'm in love with you. Again? Anyway, uh, enough about me. Uh, boring. <laughs> uh, you're looking, well, uh, radiant, and you, you've, you've been eating well, I see. Uh, oh, my God. Uh, you're... We're going to have a... I'm going to be no. daddy. <laughs> no. Oh, <laughs> on target, first time back of the net, yes! Oh, look, Gary, it's not yours. What? What do you mean? It must be. Well, trust me. You don't have to lie to me. It's okay. I want a baby. I, I want your baby. No, really, Gary, you don't want this baby. Ah, I do, I do, I do. I'd never shirk my responsibility. You know, let's get married. We'll bring it up together. This is my baby. I know it is. <laughs> it's my baby. It's not your baby. Uh, oh, I, uh, uh, sorry, H haven't we met before? No. Nope. Well, I'm sure we have. I don't think so. You, you look so familiar. Those faces, you know, I just get that a lot. Just... Right, well, well, whose baby is it then? It's God's baby. What? Shut up, Gabriel. Gabriel? Yes, I am the angel Gabriel, and this baby was immaculately conceived. I, your angel Gabriel, ah, but where are your wings? Oh, what is this obsession with wings? Look, uh, water, well, uh, tea, anyway. Ooh, ooh. Wine. 
Oh. You happy? It's wine. Hey, it's wine. It, it's a miracle. It's a miracle. Come, oh, give me a break. Why wouldn't you do that for me? I'm not performing still. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, I mean, gosh. I mean, this is incredible. It, it's a sign. You're here to save me, right? To, to save my soul because, because I had sex with her before we were married. Um. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I didn't want to. Well, I, I didn't want I, I did want to, but, well, she tricked me. She, how can I ever be forgiven for sins of the flesh? Um, all right. So just go and spread the word, you know, that sort of thing. Yes, 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 spread the word, that sort of thing. Oh, of course, I'll spread it, I'll spread it wide. Uh, oh, yeah. yes, uh, well, 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 you and me, uh, we, not, not going to work, not going to work. That part of me will always love you, but uh, take care of that little fella, yeah, yeah? <laughs> okay, spread the word! So, that was Gary Goodman. He seemed, uh, nice. Uh, uh. <laughs> Dear me, Gabriel, having to resort to parlor tricks to recruit your new members now? <laughs> I was simply telling him what the situation was. It got rid of him, didn't it? Unbelievable. Well, look, Alice, do you believe me now? I told you. She had sex with him. Hmm. Well, it does change things a bit. We just need to find some way of making sure who the father is. Let's do a DNA test, like Jeremy Kyle. Who doesn't do DNA? I can't believe this. This is ridiculous. This whole thing is ridiculous. I've been practically celibate for the last year. How can I be pregnant with three men, all claiming to be the father, two of which... Many people don't even know exist. Hey, God moves in mist. Oh, don't even say it. What if I choose not to have this baby? What? Uh, but he's your savior. No, no, he's your savior. The savior of your establishment, a popularity boost before the leadership is decided. He'll help you more than he'll help us. We're not perfect. None of us are perfect. We'll be left behind. You can be forgiven. What if we don't want to be forgiven? What if we don't think that we've actually done anything wrong? Salvation shouldn't come with conditions. Surely that misses the point. <laughs> now that, Gabriel, is what I call seeing the light. Ah, uh, what is it with people? The moment someone shows some disillusionment in one camp, you automatically assume that they're devoted themselves to the other. I mean, did you ever consider? then maybe I don't care for either of you. Okay, now we... Uh, uh, this is Dr. Wells. Uh, I'm calling about the results of your tests. Uh, as you suspected, you are definitely pregnant. <laughs> Quite far gone, it seems. Nearly seven months. It would be good if you could come back in so that we can discuss your options. I know the pregnancy wasn't planned. Uh, as you may know, the legal limit for termination is 24 weeks, and, uh, well, as I said, you appear to be at least six months gone, which may mean that termination is no longer an uh, option. I appreciate it's a lot to take in, so I'll, I'll leave you to it now. Uh, come in and see me next week, and, hey, send my congratulations to the father. You're going to have a baby.